I am not afraid still. <laughs> I'm still not afraid. That's 20 seconds is a long time. <laughs> There, I am not afraid because here I am at age four, beginning my career in uh, visual communication and rather serious about it at the same time. If you're familiar with uh, <clears throat> Asian uh, brush writing, you'll notice that I have a perfect grip. I was four. <laughs> reacting. Here's a little girl reacting. Reacting does not take any thought, and our... our uh, our, our electronics today make it way too easy to just react without thought. So the thing to do is think after you react or before you react, which would be even better. Here's the word think. This came from <clears throat> the United Can Corporation in the 50s. They had a, an advertising campaign where they used the misspelled word think in large full-page ads in magazines and newspapers uh, in order to show the concept that your mind should be in gear when you're doing something like that. Now we have cave painting. This is where writing began. History began when writing began. And the early humans uh, wanted to leave their mark on the world. This was a very human characteristic that everybody wants to leave their mark somewhere so that everybody knows when you lived. Native Americans did not have written <clears throat> written languages. They had symbols and signs that they used, but nothing with an alphabet until the Cherokee Nation decided they wanted a written alphabet, and their chief, Sequoia, invented one. He did the, the Cherokee syllabary, which was published. It was in print. Schools were, were formed. I'm not sure whether animals have an alphabet, but I know they have language. We all know that because we've learned some of it. So this is my version of prrr. <laughs> 20 seconds is a long time. <laughs> okay, writing is like taking a line for a walk. If any of you have ever wanted to improve your handwriting, but you just don't know how to get started, this is one way to do it. Take a line for a walk. You can walk in a straight line, or you can walk shortly or longly, or you can write, walk in a graceful line, but it will loosen you up and get you back into the habit. <clears throat> the writing is performed by movement. It is a dance of the pen. And again, you're in something flowing and loose and decorative and easy and expressive. So feel that way when you pick up your pen. Make a dance out of it. Oh, you might not know what this is. Uh, this is how writing looks like to the paper. <laughs> <laughs> And if you hold that up to a mirror, you will see that it says, April Foolishness. <laughs> okay, here's another exercise in improving your handwriting. Pretend you're five years old and pick up a pencil and air write. You know, air guitar, this is the same concept. Air write. Get loosely with your line and just make it go here, there, and everywhere, and then bring it down on the paper and continue to do that. I was doing that when this fish appeared. That was the cursed fish. Okay, we have the, this is the Bill of Rights. We have the right to write and read and think and learn and develop and grow and evolve to leave a legible mark for posterity to make our personal and individual mark in life. I did this poster for a show that my calligraphy guild had at the library. To know how to write well is to know how to think well Notice it says the space left blank. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Writing involves thinking. And <clears throat> I'm here to tell you about the magical link between the brain and the hand as you're writing. Here's my hierarchy of writing. This young lady is thinking in her head, and she's thinking thoughts to, that she wants to send to somebody, and they're coming down from her brain and through her heart and out through her hand so that the recipient of that note is going to know that that person was thinking of them, had something they wanted to say. Give your brain a hand. <clears throat> this is brain chemistry. Uh, at the time when children are traditionally learning to do uh, cursive writing, say about third grade, 
the brain, actually, and studies have been done psychologically on this, the brain is at the state where the child is beginning to be able to put a concept or an idea in words. And if that doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. You're not supposed to think less of yourself, think of yourself less. If you're reacting, you're just thinking of yourself. If you want to convey something to somebody, then that is a communication. All the letters you will ever need are right here in this little drawing. Every letter of the alphabet is there. And if you don't believe it, the ears and the eyes are the B and the D. And this alphabet just wanted to be a bunny. I can't help it. <laughs> there is sister. <laughs> sister and Uncle Sam and me. And we all want you to practice every day. And guess what? This coming Sunday is Mother's Day. Write your mother. <laughs> Here's Leonardo da Vinci, probably the most prolific hand writer in the whole history of the world, produced some 7,000 pages or so in his notebooks. And this was at a time when the printing press had been developed, and there were many people that wanted to print his notebooks, but he just never got around to it. And here's my footnote. I have to read this. From the Seattle News, Fred Smith, 29, was arrested in January after, police said, he tried to rob a Wells Fargo bank, but had fled empty-handed after a teller struggled to read a poorly written hold-up note. <laughs> she and her manager said they did not even know immediately if it was a hold-up note or just a note requesting assistance. <laughs> 